everybody, my name's Michelle and this is my channel Sewing Bunny and my video today is a sewing haul. <laughs> so this is going to be a two-parter because I have quite a lot of items. Um, the first lot um, arrived last week and I do actually have some more arriving very soon. <laughs> so um, yes, I thought I would split it in two videos because otherwise if I did it in one video it would probably be about two hours long. Um, because I have been purchasing a few things. <laughs> now, I do have to say that I know a lot of us do suffer from the guilt factor when we purchase fabric. I'm not going to lie, I do feel a little bit like that from time to time because I do have a lot of fabric. I've got more than enough fabric to last me quite a few years if I was to sew through it all, but sewing is my hobby, fabric buying uh, is included in that and it makes me happy and sewing not only being my hobby it is actually kind of just part of my life now and I love it, it is my complete escape from the day-to-day -day stresses and um, yeah I'm not going to feel guilty about um, buying things for my hobby that I can afford and that makes me happy. Sorry if you can hear my cat Bentley running up and down the stairs. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what have I been purchasing? What are you doing? I don't know if you can hear him howling. What's the matter? I think he's bought me his chicken. Uh, chicken meaning his toy chicken. Um, yeah, he can be. A little bit weird like that. Um, I do also have my other cat Misty in with me. She's taking a liking to this little um, bed that I have fashioned for her. My little sewing trolley. So yeah, she seems to be very, very happy. And uh, hopefully the sunlight's not going to get too in the way. It's just about to come through because I'm recording this after work. Apologies if you can hear Bentley still. <laughs> right, let's get going with some of my fabric. So I have got um, two shops that I'm going to share with you today that I have been purchasing from. The first being uh, my lovely friend Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door. If you've seen any of my other fabric hauls or any of my videos you know that I really really love the fabrics from Beyond the Pink Door. And um, yes, my little order came with this lovely little postcard, which I think is brilliant. <laughs> and um, I did purchase some fabrics from her. Now, what you can do on the Beyond the Pink Door website is if you say you see one fabric that you really like the look of, but say, for instance, um, you want to hold off until you've got um, more items to add into your basket, but you want to secure um, the first fabric you've seen, you can actually place items on hold, which I think is amazing. So I saw this fabric on um, Andrea's website and I absolutely loved it. And it completely sold out really, really quickly. And I was devastated because I really, really wanted some. And then she mentioned that she was getting some back in stock. So I was watching her website like a hawk until it came back in. But there wasn't anything else that I wanted to purchase at the time. So I bought just the one fabric, um, asked her to put it on hold. And basically you pay for the fabric, but you don't pay for the postage or anything. And she keeps it to one side until you add other things to the order. And then you can get it all posted as one which I think is amazing. It's such a good idea to do that. If anyone is interested in that, then by all means contact Andrea. She can go through all the details. But I believe that um, if you just use um, the code um, please hold on um, when you go to checkout, then it will hold it. But if you're unsure, then, you know, Andrea, I'm sure will be more than happy to um, explain it all. But um I just think it's absolutely brilliant. So I had this fabric on hold for a while and then I decided to, when I saw some other bits and bobs, to add it in and then get all my shipping in one go. Because Andrea is over in Ireland, so the shipping to where I am in the UK um, can be a little bit more expensive than the UK shops. So that's why I thought it was a good idea to do that. Anyway, you want to see the fabric? Let me show you. <laughs> this is the fabric. Oh. It is absolutely 
gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. And I'm so glad I managed to get my hands on some. It is a gorgeous viscose and it is in these beautiful colours. So it's quite a sort of a bright navy background. And then you've got these red flowers, pink flowers, blue flowers, and that lovely shot of turquoise as well. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. And I got two and a half metres of this. Now I have got a couple of ideas of what I want to do with it. Now initially, I'll be perfectly honest, um, my mum actually wanted to have a shirt um, or a top um, made at some point. And I remember going through some of like the website, showing her some fabrics, and she really liked the look of this. So if she decides on a, a top that she wants me to make for her, then I can use it um, for that. And if I've got any left over, then I can make myself a, maybe a little um, like scout tee by Grainline Studio or something like that, because that only takes about 70 or 80 centimetres worth of fabric. So hopefully I should have enough left for that. Otherwise, um, if my mum doesn't want um, a top made out of this um, or she decides on something else, then I was thinking this would make the most gorgeous sew over it Doris dress. Um, I have made that pattern once before and I really enjoyed it. And um, I just thought that would be absolutely beautiful for it. So those are my ideas for that one. It's a lovely, lovely fabric. And I'm so pleased I managed to uh, get myself some of that. And then some of the other fabrics that I picked up from Andrea were, um, well, let's go through this one first. This one, oh, it's absolutely beautiful. As I say, Andrea's fabrics that she selects are just stunning. I just love her aesthetic, like all her fabrics that she picks. I just love it. And I picked up this one. And this is a, um, is it like a viscose? Is it Lyocell? I think it is. It's kind of, um, I think Lyocell is like a, is a sort of like a trademark or something, which is kind of a more sustainable type of viscose. Um, I think you might have heard things like, you know, like tensile, things like that, um, modal, uh, that sort of um, thing, but it's called Lyocell and it's so lovely and soft. And that pattern, oh, just all these lovely, lovely flowers. It is absolutely stunning. And I saw this and I just, oh, I just had to pick some up. It was so beautiful. And I just thought it would make a lovely, lovely blouse. Um, I'm thinking maybe like the, oh, I didn't actually say what I was wearing. Um, the blouse that I'm wearing is the Atelier Jupe Frida blouse. I absolutely love it. It's probably one of my favourite blouses that I'm wearing at the moment. And I thought maybe this would make a gorgeous Frida blouse. Perfect for work, perfect for the summer. And oh, that design, I just, I can't get over how beautiful it is. Absolutely stunning. And being white, I must admit, I was a little bit worried that um, it might be a bit see-through. But as soon as Andrea showed this on her live, if you don't know about the lives, every Sunday, um, Andrea and Keris, her daughter, do a live over on YouTube where they show on screen their latest fabrics. And um, yes, Andrea was showing this and she was kind of showing like how opaque um, it was. And I mean, I don't know if you'll be able to see there, but you can't see through it. You really can't. It's lovely. It's such a nice um, fabric. And yeah, I can't really see through that at all. Hardly at all. So I think it'd be absolutely perfect as a little blouse. Absolutely loving that one. And then the other fabric that I picked up was this double gauze. Oh, I love this. It's such a beautiful colour. Sort of like a sort of rusty red. Really, really lovely colour. And if you can see there, this beautiful embroidered design and it's only on one side of the fabric so if I open it up a little bit for you so you can see so there we go that is one side of the fabric and then if I go all the way to the other side we can see it's plain so you've got this beautiful beautiful border it's absolutely 
gorgeous. And I was thinking of something really simple like the um, Wardrobe By Me Whisper Blouse. I love that in double gauze. And I just thought that would be absolutely gorgeous as, you know, just making it um, completely standard, but then having that border at the bottom. So I might extend the length maybe slightly, make it more of a tunic, possibly. Um, but yeah, I just thought that that was so pretty, such a gorgeous design. So I just picked up, I think I just picked up a metre um, of that one, I believe. I can't remember now. <laughs> so, um, or maybe a metre and a bit, possibly a metre and a half, possibly. But I just thought it was absolutely lovely and uh, really looking forward to making the whisper blouse with that. And then whilst I was on the website, I noticed that um, there were some new remnants that had gone up. So I picked up three remnant pieces because um, they were discounted. So I thought, why not? So they're quite small pieces, but I've got plans for all of them. <laughs> so the first one is a viscose jersey and it is in this lovely blue floral absolutely gorgeous gorgeous colors i love this and i think this was um possibly a 70 or 80 centimeter piece and oh it's just absolutely beautiful and i just thought you know what make a really nice simple t-shirt because this sort of design and being that viscose jersey with that lovely drape it makes perfect t-shirts for like work because they kind of look a little bit blousy. I really like wearing viscose jersey um, as office wear because I just think it looks just, you know, you've got the comfort factor of a t-shirt, but that sort of blousy um, prettiness of, um, well, a blouse <laughs> really. So I thought that would be absolutely lovely. Maybe a sew over it molly um, top. That's probably one of my favorite um, ones or a Mandy Bow Tee by um, Tasuti, that would be gorgeous in that as well. But I just thought the colours are absolutely beautiful. Love it. I love all of Andrea's fabrics. <laughs> and then I also picked up this, which is a stretch cotton, and I got one meter of this. Absolutely gorgeous gorgeous fabric and this is an atelier jupe um fabric so it is a, a designer fabric obviously the um the pattern i'm wearing is atelier jupe as well so they do patterns and fabric and i saw they had a meter of this and again just the colors are so so pretty so it's on a black background and it's got like these uh cream flowers with sort of hints of sort of pink around them with some other peachy flowers. You've got green in there. And then that lovely shot of um, that turquoisey color as well. It's just beautiful. And I got a meter of it, um, which I know probably some of you might think, well, that's a meter, which you make with cotton, you know, for a meter. But I was thinking of making a little sleeveless blouse. Um, sorry, a sleeveless shirt, probably because it's cotton. Um, so I thought um, of doing that. Now I am um, currently going to be sewing up um, a Gertie pattern, um, which I can't remember off the top of my head what it's called. I'll insert a picture here. I'm doing that using a stretch cotton. So I'm going to see how that goes and see maybe if I want to make it out of this. Or the other option is I want to um, make the uh, Sewaholic, what's it called, the Granville shirt. Again, I'll pop an image of that one here. And I was thinking of um, basically making that a sleeveless shirt as well. So I thought I've got two options to try there, depending on how the Gertie blouse goes, or the Gertie shirt rather. I thought that would be lovely. And as I mentioned, this is a stretch cotton. So I thought it'd be really nice for a shirt. And it's got a nice amount of stretch in it. You see there, really nice amount of stretch. And it is gorgeous gorgeous quality it's um i suppose maybe like um a bit like a cotton lawn but with stretch so it's kind of i'd say it's ever so slightly lighter than a poplin i would say but isn't it lovely absolutely gorgeous flowers 
really really pleased I got that one um, and the last one is a faux angora knit um, fabric and I think this was 1.25 meters of that and oh, turn it around the other way and I don't know if you can see on there sorry about the light it's quite like furry <laughs> I say it's not furry furry but it's got this lovely sort of like brushed texture really really nice can you see there sorry about the light coming in but it's just the softest oh just lovely and I did um pick up some of this um in a dark blue color and I made my mum for Christmas a Harper cardigan I'll just set a picture um of her wearing it and um I have to admit when the fabric arrived I was really tempted to keep it for myself because <laughs> I was like oh that's a really nice fabric um but I think when I went back onto the website, um, Andrea had sold out of that particular sort of dark blue colour. And when I saw this in the remnant section, I thought, yes, I can make myself a little cardigan. I know I've only got 1.25 metres and the other cardigan um, that I made my mum, I used 1.5 metres. But I was thinking for this, I could just make a slightly more cropped cardigan. And maybe rather than do um, full length sleeves, I could do three quarter sleeves and I thought it would go so nicely with my viscose jersey t-shirt and depending on if um, I'm going to make either a blouse for myself or a dress or obviously with my mum as well uh, this one I thought that would go really nice with a little cardigan over the top of that um, as well as the oh I've got them everywhere haven't I um, the floral um, fabric as well that I mean, they'd go with everything. So I just thought if a little card, a little cardigan in this fabric would just be gorgeous. I just, I can't tell you how soft this fabric is. It's so nice and it's got a lovely drape on it. So it'd make a lovely summer weight um, cardigan and it's got nice stretch in um, both directions. So yeah, I just think it's gonna be so comfortable. So I'm just so happy that I picked up all of those. <laughs> okay, so my next fabric shop that I uh, picked up some uh, items was Felicity Fabrics. And they said they were doing a sale and I couldn't believe it. Some of the items they were selling were like up to 70% off and they were really good, really good bargains to be had. So I did pick up um, a few items from them. So first off, I actually picked up a pattern. I saw this pattern and I just thought, oh yes, that would be a great one to add to my pattern stash. And it is the Grainline Studio um, Thayer Jacket. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, the Thayer Jacket. And I just thought this would make a lovely coat for um, sort of autumn, winter. What are you doing, Misty? And um, yeah, I just kind of thought that would be a really nice one to add to my pattern stash. So it's probably one I am going to put away for the time being. Um, but I just thought that would be a really, really nice one to try. I will insert a picture of the stock um, photo from the website because I think it doesn't really look all that in this picture. But when you see the picture of the model wearing it, I just love it. And I do have some fabric in my stash that I'm thinking would go really nicely with this. It's um, it's like a cord um, that's kind of fleece lined. And I kind of thought that would look really, really nice. I'm really happy I picked that up. And then I also picked up um, a viscose. And this is a lovely, lovely summery viscose in this gorgeous blue. It's such a pretty shade of blue, this one. I do like sort of that blue and white um, look on there. It's really, really pretty. Oh, I'm just getting a phone call. Bear with me. Sorry about that. <laughs> it was just my husband saying that he's uh, going to be a bit late um, home from work. Anyway, um, so yes, this is a gorgeous viscose fabric and yeah, I love this colour combination and um, I thought this would make a really, really nice, like well, as soon as I saw the fabric, I thought instantly, I want to make the um, Shelby um, dress or um, jumpsuit. 
from this. I just thought it'd be really, really pretty and really nice for like a little summery dress or um, play suit or jumpsuit. Um, so yeah, really, really happy with that one. I also picked up a stretch um, cotton sateen. I love this. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous design. I love this one. So it's black background with these orange flowers, greens, creams, pinks. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. And I thought this would make a really fun pair of trousers. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe something like that. Don't jump up. Oh, you. Sorry, Misty has decided to jump up on my wardrobe where I've got loads of fabric piled up. If you drop all of that, I will not be happy. Um, anyway. Oh, she's such a little pickle. She really is. She's making a nest. Yes, and Bentley's here as well. Hey, you're wondering what she's doing. Um, <laughs> Anyway, sorry. So yes, this is, yes, a cotton stretch sateen. So I thought it would make a really nice pair of trousers. I'm thinking um, possibly the Avid Seamstress um, uh, City trousers. I thought that'd be really nice. That's on my sort of plans list. And if I show you the stretch in there, so we've got quite a bit of stretch, which will just give it a nice amount of give. So I thought that was absolutely gorgeous. Um, if I don't make, make a pair of trousers, then I thought it'd make a really nice shirt as well. Because it's not, like some sateens, like I find are really like thick. This one's actually quite nice. It's not too heavy. It's, I wouldn't say it's got any like sort of necessarily too much drape, but it's not really thick. Like some of them can be almost a bit squishy. Um, this one isn't. And uh, yes, I love that design. Really, really like that. So now you're trying to get down. Are you stuck? All right, <laughs> moving on. Um, so I also picked up uh, some chambray and I got this one, which is, um, yes, a chambray with a little design on it. Apologies if you can hear Bentley meowing. They're just chatting away to each other. Um, so yeah, this with... Um, these little roses on which I thought was gorgeous and I just thought this would make a lovely lovely shirt dress oh bear with me she's stuck uh, oh you're such a little pickle right so after knocking down a lot of my haberdashery, thank you, Misty. I will clean that up in a moment. Right, anyway, yes, I thought this would make a lovely, lovely shirt dress. I'm thinking possibly the Tilling the Buttons Rosa um, shirt dress. I've made the shirt of it, um, but not the shirt dress. Either that or I'm sure that there are loads of other um, shirt dresses that I could make from it. I was also thinking it would actually be really nice as the Megan Nielsen Darling Ranges dress as well. That's certainly an option as well. And it's a lovely chambray, really nice sort of lightweight um, sort of denim. So it has got, as you can probably see there, a little bit of drapiness to it. So I think it will just be something to, um, you know, be really comfortable, lovely and cool for the warmer weather. So yes, that's that one. And then lastly, I picked up some linen. This was amazing value. It was something silly, like £2.50 a half metre for linen, like 100% linen. I couldn't believe it. And it is in this lovely, sort of like soft pink, or it's like mauve sort of colour. Really, really nice. Again, apologies for the light. It's that time of the evening where the sun is setting, so I'm losing light. <laughs> um, I got two metres um, of this because I thought um, either a jumpsuit uh, for it. Again, there's quite a few jumpsuits that I could list, um, but I haven't kind of really decided fully on um, the one that I want. So I was thinking either the jumpsuit 
or a pair of um, trousers. I do have a pair of navy linen trousers that I made last year, which was the, um, oh, what were they called? The Palisade Pants by... Ooh, I can't remember now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really, really like them and I wore them a lot. So I could make those again or I could try another trouser pattern. But I thought it might make quite a nice jumpsuit. I thought that would be really nice. So that is what I picked up from Felicity Fabrics. And I also wanted to share um, some other sewing bits that I picked up. I got some lovely labels from um, Paige Joanna. I will um, link her little Etsy shop um, down below. But can you see those little labels? They say me made with that lovely sort of rainbow sunshine. I thought that was so cute. So I thought, oh, I'll pick myself up some of those. And also I was so pleased to see um, that um, Laura from the Specky Seamstress has opened up her bias tape shop again. She did have a little break um, just to, due to some personal reasons. And um, yes, I was so happy to see her shop reopen. So I picked up some more bias tape. This design here, I absolutely love with the um, uh, sort of hearts and tape measures. And then also this lovely daisy print on there. And I have already used this one, because I've opened the packet, um, I have already used this on a little scout tee that I made, which I will share in my um, April makes video. So very, very happy with that. And I did also pick up, um, she was doing for a pound, just some like little remnants. And I think you get at least, I think it's like at least half a meter, I think of bias tape for each of these. And it's only a pound. And I just thought, do you know what, for like um, just a small sort of like neck binding or even, you know, if you wanted to use two different ones for like armhole um, binding or something, that would be lovely. So I've got this little dinosaur print here, which I do actually have probably about three or four metres um, from when I purchased um, some when she first opened her shop. This lovely floral a design here and then this blue one which is the sewing appreciation society don't know if i'll bring it closer the light's gonna reflect on it but um yeah i thought those were lovely so a pound for that so even if i wanted to practice you know doing like you know certain things then a pound really really nice so that was absolutely everything from my part one of my sewing haul. Um, so yes, let me know um, which one was your favourite or if you've got any of those um, fabrics or any of the patterns that I've spoken about, if you've ever made any of those. I'd love to hear. I really like it if I'm ever thinking of making a pattern that I haven't made before. If one of you guys have made it, um, I just really like hearing if it's a pattern you really love or one that you didn't get on too well with, just so that I can prepare for them um, when I uh, decide to make it. So yes, I will um, record my second part of my fabric um, or sewing haul um, in a couple of weeks. So that'll come to you uh, a bit later. But yes, I hope everyone's doing okay and I will speak to you very, very soon in my next video. Take care. Bye.